Muhammad Shahidah alias 36, a Malaysia marathon runner and coach, made history at the London Marathon on Sunday, April 23, by setting a new genius world record for the faster full marathon runner in Abaju Melayu. In his post, he also thanked Bulan Bintang HQ for sponsoring his outfit. The Baju Melayu is a traditional Malay outfit with a long sleeve shirt, trousers, and kind something, often worn during special occasions. He wore a red Baju Melayu, blue kind something, and yellow sport shoes representing the Jalur Gemilang's colors. He also recorded his run using an omnidirectional camera which captures videos and photos in 360 degrees. His achievements has been celebrated throughout Malaysia, where he has become an inspiration to many. Muhammad Shahidan is also the first Malaysian to complete six World Marathon majors under three hours. In 2018, he earned a Guinness World Record for the fastest marathon run in the national flag costume category in two hours and 54 minutes at the Blackmore's Running Festival in Sydney, Australia. A 52-year-old man died when a tree fell on his car while he was driving in front of Sultan Abdul Halim Hospital in Sungai Petani, Malaysia. A team from the Amanjaya Fire and Rescue Station was rushed to the location and managed to escape him, but he was confirmed dead by personal medical. Five other vehicles were also damaged by several uproot trees, but the number of people injured could not be ascertained. The spokesman said more than 10 trees were uprooted following heavy rain and strong winds in the area, and it was difficult for the fire engine to reach the location due to a fallen electricity pole blocking the road. Several agencies, including the police, health ministry, Malaysian Civil Defence Force, Sungai Petani Municipal Council and the nearby new volunteer fire brigade helped to clear the roads and remove the fallen trees. An instant noodle manufacturer in Bukit Bertajam has sent its Ahlai white curry noodles for test following allegations that the product contains a cancer inducing substance. A company spokesperson said they had sent samples for a laboratory test after Taipei's Department of Health released results claiming that a batch of the instant noodles and a batch of Indomie special chicken flavor noodles from Indonesia contained ethylene oxide, a chemical compound associated with lymphoma and leukemia. An official statement will be released soon. The business based on the Penang mainland makes a variety of noodles such as mee hoon, kueh tiao and prawn noodles to be sold locally and internationally. On Monday, it was reported the two types of instant noodles made by Southeast Asian brands were found to contain a cancer using substance. The unspecified retailers from which the samples were collected has been asked to pull the two products from their shelf and the importers will be fined between 8658 and 28.95 million. Malaysia's hospitality help is the homesickness felt by foreign students as they celebrated Hari Raya Adil Fitri away from their families and loved ones. Abdul Kadir Sardini, 21, hails from Aleppo, Syria, is impressed with the Malaysian spirit of unity and community during the celebrations. Mama Asim Siddiq, 38, is from Pakistan and misses his Briani. Exchange program students Alexis De Lisa So and Linda Brore, 20, said it was a good experience for them as the atmosphere was warm and the food was great. They will be sharing their experiences with their university friends back in Turku, Finland. It is also the first time for the competing students to wear the kebaya. I am Aisha Asri. You are watching at UEM Today. Thank you.